Okay, this is the second tape on this little calorimeter that we can use for determining what a sec does. Here's some modifications I made on it. Tore a piece of one of the rims off that I discarded, glued it onto the inside of the center cup, the one that holds the thermometer. I found that when you start pulling that section out, it seals pretty good. If you use the thermometer, it starts making that hole bigger, even though it's reinforced. So I put this little tab on there and it makes it really nice for pulling it out. Simple little feature, but it's going to save you having to rebuild those centers a couple of times. Here's the water tank. I mounted the neon bulb in the bottom and set some of that clear seal around it so we have a water seal on it. No wires are exposed. We don't want to have any electrolysis. Brought them through the bottom of the cup. Now also, uh, I marked the cup. This cup will hold 70 milliliters of water. So you can see the neon down inside and now what I've done is I've put a small uh, connector strip on the bottom I've hooked the leads of the neon to it and connected a red and a green wire, the color is immaterial but I just connected two small wires to it that I'm going to bring out of the bottom cup that this sets in and that'll go to the exciter. What you do is you take something sharp like I've got here you go down though from the inside of the cup and poke out through the bottom of the cup at an angle. You'll see that here as I go and then and just to ensure I have a good double seal, double barrier, I don't want any heat leaking out which I'm fairly sure is not going to but I'm going to throw a little uh, uh, fiber in the bottom of it you know to take up that space and seal those wire holes. So we're going to have a good double barrier all the way around on this cal calorimeter and you just push it all down inside, pull the excess wire through and I can see I got a little too much of that uh, foam in there. I'll pull some of that out but here it is put together. We'll take and move over to the workbench now and and hook it all up. Okay here's the calorimeter, here's the sec exciter. See I brought the wires out and I have it connected to the exciter. I put a little bit of masking tape around the top. Here's the neon bulb. Here's what it looks like inside of the water tank. I turned the exciter on so you could see that light. I haven't put the water in yet. I'm going to put in 50 milliliters of water. This is distilled water. I'm not putting the full 70 in, just 50, pouring it over the top of that neon. Turn the power supply on so you can see the neon again. There it is down there in the middle of the water. And what happens now is that thermometer protrudes down into the water. The neon is supposedly going to heat the water and we're going to make records of what happens every five minutes for an hour. Okay there we've got the thermometer set down in the center. You want to be sure your thermometer goes far enough that it goes down into the water but yet doesn't go far enough to touch that neon itself. I've mounted them both in the center. I think on the next one I'll probably offset one or the other. So I could actually push that thermometer. Here you're going to need a timer, a stopwatch, or use your own watch. You want to take your readings every five minutes for 60 minutes. I like these little kitchen timers you can pick up just about anywhere. They'll go forward and backward and they beep when when they reach the time. Here's the exciter. This is a little modified. We'll cover that later as we get into the actual testing. So I'm all ready to go here. One other thing I do do though is I do record the ambient temperature. Now with these two styrofoam cups put inside each other like this we're not going to have much effect if any. Here's the log that uh, I keep. Left hand column is time in minutes, the cell temperature TC, the ambient TR, and the PSU's voltage and current. We'll do that for an hour, record those readings, and then we can take and make some assumptions. What's this all about? Well, what we're going to try to do is see if we can get more heat out of that neon bulb than what is supposed to be coming out based upon what's going into the exciter. So we're going to take, an, in the next video, flip this all on, take our readings, 
come back every five minutes tell you what it's done this is what you want to do now to prove this 